On Thursday, the UN launched a new approach to keep up the fight against cholera in Haiti. The approach has two tracks, including immediate steps to curb the spread of the disease, as well as providing long-term support for those most affected by cholera. UN Chief Ban Ki Moon has called on member states to be part of the collective action. Without your political will and financial support. We have only good intentions and words. Let us step up in solidarity to our moral duty and do the right thing for the Haitian people and our United Nations. More than 16,000 people have fled war-ravaged eastern Aleppo as fighting intensified over the past days. The UN's humanitarian office, OCHA, has warned that thousands more could follow. The UN called on all parties to the conflict to put basic humanity ahead of efforts to gain military advantage in Syria. For the sake of humanity, we call on, we plead with the parties and those with influence to do everything in their power to protect civilians and enable access to the besieged part of eastern Aleppo before it becomes one giant graveyard. And the UN marked the World AIDS Day this week. The United Nations World Health Organization (WHO) released new guidelines on HIV self-testing. According to the UN Health Agency, wide-scale implementation of HIV self-testing remains limited. More needs to be done to help millions of people know their HIV status and get timely treatment. 